what you guys got another video here for you so you want to colorize your folders inside windows 10 if you don't like the basic look of a folder and you want to change the color and organize and customize it then i'm going to show you how to do it in this video it's really simple and easy to do and i'll show you how to get this done in a couple of ticks so let's go ahead and head over to the website where we're going to download the software uh, to be able to change colors of these so you can head over to this website here. I will leave the link in the video description. It's called Folder Painter version 1.3. And there's quite a few areas on here that lead you to a download page, but don't go to those. The download page is right at the very bottom and I'll show you here so you can see it. So come all the way down here. But you can see you can customize the whole menu and everything in here. I'll show you how it all works. You've got some extra folders here as well, which you can do custom folders as well, if that's what you want to do. So come down to the bottom and right down here, there's a little button said download, hit on this and this advert will open up. You just need to close this ad off. And once that's done, the download will start to come down. So you don't have to click on anything else on here. Just let it come down. Once that's down, we can open this up. So I'm just going to close some of these down so you can see what I'm doing. This is the actual zip folder. I'm going to drag this out onto my desktop and then open that folder up. So that's now onto my desktop. Let's open up the folder. Now you've got a couple of installation files here, one for 32-bit and one for 64. Click on which one suits your PC. Mine's 64-bit, so I'm going to click on the 64. And now we've got the folder painter open. You've got the add to your context menu. This is to add the item as is to your context menu. You can change the name of it so it makes it much more visible. And you've got 14 different colors you can change there and there's also those folder packs which you can change as well and there's some settings here like add to and a new menu also remove selected menu rebuild shell icon cache as well so when you click on the install it doesn't actually install anything it just goes to your context menu so it's not a program that you're installing it's just adding stuff to the right click context menu here there is a menu system down here that says play sand rebuild sh uh, shell icon cache command line info and also languages that it supports and a bunch of other stuff down here as well okay so let's take a, a basic look at what it looks like once we've got this installed so i'm just going to right click and refresh so we can see what it looks like when we open up our folders here so let's open up the folder location there we go now if we right click on the folder you should see change folder icon and that's because we didn't give it a name we just left it as default but if you did give it a name, you could give it a more uh, distinct name that you can uh, recognize. You can also now right click and just change folder colors to whatever you want. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of folders with names on them, and I'm just going to give them loads of different colors. So let me just quickly speed this process up as not to bore you to tears. And there you go. It's now all completed. And we've now got a load of folders with a load of different colors. So whatever color scheme you use at work for your workflow, you can set this up to how you like it. And again, there's loads of different colors here. If we head back over to the website here, they do have some custom folders that you can uh, change as well. So rather than changing the colors, you can change the folder icons, which makes it much more recognizable. So I'm going to download these and get these onto my system and drag them out and put them on the desktop. And then you can take a look at them. There's a load of them in here. I'm not going to go through every single one of them but there's quite a few packs in here and uh, basically you can use these to change the folder icon to whatever you like so you can see there's some nice ones here and you can use these for your office stuff so for instance if you've got a load of office stuff like you do letters accounting and things like that you can change those to this more recognizable icon and uh, that's what we're going to do here you've got some other ones here like photoshop paypal and all that sort of stuff so you can put accounting in the in PayPal icon, wherever you want to do. Choice is yours. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is open up some of the other folders and I'll show you how to change the icons as well so you can see. So I've got one on here called Office and uh, we're going to go inside here and I've got a bunch of different folders inside here to show you can actually change these inside other folders. And we're going to change the icons on these. So let's first open up our program here launch a uh, folder painter once we get that open we can create a new menu and give it a name and that's what we're going to do here so let's go ahead and sort this out this is our first one we've done we can still change the name of that if we want to 
I'm just going to change this one here so you can get a general idea. So they come up on the context menu here, right click context menu as, as a, a list. So you can some, do something more recognizable. Let's just call this office. And what we're going to do here is change the icon for that. So make it more recognizable on the right click context menu. So select icon and we're going to go to our folder icons that we just downloaded and locate a office one. And we can also change all of the other icons here as well to something more recognizable as well. So let me go ahead and do this for you. So let's go into the office folder and change some of these icons. So I'm going to call this one email because that's what the folder's called. And of course, we're going to change the icon and give it the Outlook icon. And basically that will be done by clicking the Outlook icon, click open, and that will basically change that there. Next, we're going to do the next one, which is our financial, and we can call this financial, or you can call it accounts, or whatever you want to do on your PC, wherever how you uh, have your folders organized. We can now change the folder icon for this one. Let's just do, say, Excel spreadsheets. That will do OK. And uh, click open, and that should then put that in stone when we click right click refresh. So basically get the general idea here. So let me just go ahead and change the rest of these. Okay, so I sped along and done that already. So let me just right click on here and you should see office in the menu system now. And I'm gonna just right click on these folders and give them the correct icons, which I've put from the icon pack here. Now these are much more recognizable and more visible to you when you're working on your PC, you should be able to see letters with Word document sign there. So you know that's where your letters are. Makes it a lot more easier to find things visually. And uh, if your vision is not that great, something like this will really help out. So I'm going to change the icon to the office. I could give this an office icon if I want to. But for time, I'll just give it a different color so you can see basically what it looks like. You generally know how it works now. So you can see we've got a different icon for this folder here. And inside here, we've got our... Um, icons that we've changed for our folders here. Now, if you want to go back to default, you just right click and use default icons and it will change all of the icons inside here back to default. Very quick and easy to do. You can even remove it from the right click context menu by going back into folder painter and removing it from here by removing selected and rebuilding the shell icon cache. And that is it. That's basically how you can change the folder icon color inside Windows 10. Very simple and easy to do using Folder Painter. You can customize them as well by using those folder packs, which are pretty useful. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.